Hello, let me introduce to you Pam Wilson. She is an elder at West Raleigh and has been a member here for 38 years. And let me introduce my friend Mary Sue Moore. Mary Sue is a member of the Prayer Shawl Ministry and she's been a member of West Raleigh for over three years. Together, Pam and I make up the Stewardship and Commitment Committee for 2025. We've had the tremendous support, of course, from Catherine Rickmiller and Anna Robb. Our theme this year is rooted in the familiar verse of Matthew 6, verse 21, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. This theme joins the generous heart of West Raleigh with the six treasured values gathered from our storytelling. We hope you've seen the visual representation of this theme in the logo on the Sunday Bulletins, which was designed by Anna Robb. Now we want to share a couple of things that are new and plans and dates for the season. Commitment season begins this week and ends in February, which is longer and later than in past years. The reason is that committees and staff are developing zero-based budgets, which take longer than building budgets with a line-item budget approach. Secondly, time and talent commitments, while still important, are not part of this commitment season. Instead, time and talent commitments will have its own season and will be coupled with the ministry fair in 2025. Given what's new, what will happen during stewardship commitment season? As we mentioned, the season begins this week and it ends in February. During that time, there are four phases of activity. Phase one is the lead up, begins this week and it runs through November 24th. This video is part of that lead up. In addition, during this week, you will receive a pastoral letter from Catherine outlining plans and hopes for the next year and beyond. Over the next three weeks during worship, members of the congregation will lift up areas where growth and change are possible and where costs are rising. All of these areas connect with the six values that we treasure and hold in our heart. Phase two is the pledging phase, and this phase goes from November 24th through January 5th, which gives us six weeks to pledge. On Sunday, November 24th, pledge packets will be released electronically. We are hoping that people will pledge online through Realm. Anna has developed a very easy online pledge form that is accessible by QR code. Anna will also be available to assist anyone who might need help with this form, but not to worry, if you would rather have a paper pledge form, please feel free to contact Anna and she will see that you could have one of those as well. Weekly updates regarding the number of pledges and the total amount pledged will be shared in the e-news and in the weekly bulletin. The pledging phase ends on January 5th, and then the Finance Committee will finalize the budget for session to approve. And of course, any pledge that has to be made after January 5th will also be welcomed. Phase three of the season is the dedication and celebration of pledges in worship, which will be in mid-January. The final phase is the approval of the budget on February 16th, and is when stewardship and commitment season ends. Please pr prayerfully consider your pledge and complete it online as soon as you can discern what you're able to give. Thank you for listening, and any comments or questions can be addressed to either one of us. For where, where our, our treasure, treasure is, so our, our hearts will, will be also. also.